Why are we beginning our crime wave field hearings in New York City? Because this is one of the most egregious examples in America. I am not here to criticize any New Yorkers except maybe one, and that's because so many New Yorkers will soon become Florida voters. Police have been villainized and harassed by the left and even defunded. Democrats have politicized this hearing, mentioning Donald Trump 38 times. That number for Republicans is zero. But the problem is, is that this is a charade to cover up for an abuse of power that they are going around talking incessantly outside of this hearing about Donald Trump. And the purpose of this hearing is to cover up for what they know to be an inappropriate investigation. House Republicans are moving on to their latest stunt at the behest of Donald Trump to protect his fragile ego. And this time, they went straight to New York City to hold a taxpayer-funded field hearing to attack Alvin Bragg, the district attorney prosecuting Trump. Rather than enforcing the law, the DA is using his office to do the bidding of left-wing campaign funders. For the district attorney, justice isn't blind. It's about looking for opportunities to advance a political agenda, a radical political agenda. Policies being implemented by this district attorney are gonna ruin this great city. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. It's scary, isn't it? What is your message to District Attorney Alvin Bragg? Well, the man is incompetent, obviously. Let's talk about Alvin Bragg. He's a woke, progressive district attorney with no different than any other, than any other progressive DA in our country right now. While Alvin, while Alvin Bragg is a Manhattan district attorney, his policies are not isolated to this borough. His pro-criminal policies are just an example of what Soros-funded district attorneys are implementing across our great nation. Ms. Brame, do you feel used? Not. Ms. I'm Harrison? A, I'm a willing participant. Ms. Harrison, do you feel used? Tell you what, let me ask you this way. Do you feel more used by this committee hearing, or do you feel more used by a criminal justice system that allowed people to kill people that you love and care about with no consequence? One Republican even went so far as to advocate this. When can we look at, if somebody puts a knife to you, or a clerk at a cashier anywhere in this country, and he's threatening to say, I'm gonna kill you, you don't give your money? I would encourage the residents in the great state of Texas and my county to defend yourself. Defend yourself. You are given that God-given right. And that means pulling out a weapon and put two at center mass. You'll reduce recidivism, won't you? And you won't have a repeat offender. Republicans intentionally went through almost the entire hearing without invoking Trump's name. Here's why. That's very, very intentional because they know that they are using taxpayer money to defend a private citizen in his own criminal investigation, and that that is an abuse of their power. The day before this investigation began, public reporting revealed that Donald Trump and his legal team directed House Republicans to initiate an investigation into Alvin Bragg. And they're now scrambling to justify this investigation with after-the-fact explanations including the preposterous explanation that he spent $5,000 of federal money on this years-long investigation. They have spent many multiples of that amount of money on this hearing alone in order to hold it in Manhattan. If Republicans really wanted to stop violent crime, they would be in D.C. right now, working with Democrats to pass common-sense gun legislation. Instead, like jackbooted thugs, they've descended on New York City using violent crime as their pretext. The Republican witnesses who have used their time to criticize District Attorney Bragg have served as props in a MAGA Broadway production. They are using their public offices and the resources of this committee to protect their political patron, Donald Trump. It is an outrageous abuse of power. It is to use the chairman's favorite term, a weaponization of the House Judiciary Committee. But it is shameful that the Republicans of this committee would use the pretext of violent crime as an excuse to play tourist in New York and bully the district attorney. You can pretend that you aren't here on Donald Trump's behalf, but you cannot stop the New York criminal justice system from running its course, and you will not intimidate New Yorkers with your brief visit to this city.